I started researching alternative transportation at Acadia National Park in 1999. And basically this followed uh, a general management plan that the park had created and looking at solutions to the congestion and parking problems inside the park, they decided that a bus system, the Island Explorer bus system, could be a way of alleviating some of the congestion and parking. And not only in the park, but also within the surrounding communities like Bar Harbor where they also have parking problems. It was chosen among all the national parks in the United States as a test site for intelligent transportation systems. And essentially that's new technology that gives information to riders in terms of when buses are arriving, their bus stop location, and everything is more real-time information. Based on our study, it really did improve uh, the visitor experience. It increased ridership on the bus and just made it a, a, a better system and a, a more successful system. With the work that we've done, it's really generated more research in other national parks and making systems better. It's been used as a model uh, in other parks like Rocky Mountain National Park where I've done similar research also the Grand Canyon National Park. It is a model that seems to work in certain settings where you do have high visitor use. Acadia National Park has always had a special relationship with the University of Maine. They provide opportunities for students that have an interest in this career. Uh, they look at students at the University of Maine as future employees and leaders in this field.